Korea is a region in East Asia. Since 1948, it has been divided between two distinct sovereign states, North Korea and South Korea. Located on the Korean Peninsula, Korea is bordered by China to the northwest, Russia to the northeast, and neighbors Japan to the east by the Korea Strait and the Sea of Japan East sea. Korea emerged as a singular political entity in 676 AD, after centuries of conflict among the three kingdoms of Korea, which were unified as Unified Silla to the south and Balhae to the north. Unified Silla divided into three separate states during the later Three Kingdoms period. Goryeo, which had succeeded Goguryeo, defeated the two other states and united the Korean peninsula. Around the same time, Balhae collapsed and its last crown prince fled south to Goryeo. Goryeo, also spelled as Koryo, whose name developed into the modern exonym, Korea, was a highly cultured state that created the world's first metal movable type in 1234. However, multiple invasions by the Mongol Empire during the 13th century greatly weakened the nation, which eventually agreed to become a vassal state after decades of fighting. Following military resistance under King Gongmen which ended Mongol political influence in Goryeo, severe political strife followed, and Goryeo eventually fell to a coup led by General Yi Seong Gai, who established Joseon in 1392. The first 200 years of Joseon were marked by relative peace. During this period, the Korean alphabet was created by Sejong the Great in the 15th century and there was increasing influence of Confucianism. During the later part of the dynasty, Korea's isolationist policy earned it the Western nickname of the Hermit Kingdom. By the late 19th century, the country became the object of imperial design by the Empire of Japan. After the First Sino-Japanese War, despite the Korean Empire's effort to modernize, it was annexed by Japan in 1910 and ruled by Imperial Japan until the end of World War II in August 1945. In 1945, the Soviet Union and the United States agreed on the surrender of Japanese forces in Korea in the aftermath of World War II, leaving Korea partitioned along the 38th parallel. The North was under Soviet occupation and the South under U.S. occupation. These circumstances soon became the basis for the division of Korea by the two superpowers, exacerbated by their inability to agree on the terms of Korean independence. The communist-inspired government in the North received backing from the Soviet Union in opposition to the pro-Western government in the South, leading to Korea's division into two political entities, North Korea formerly the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and South Korea formerly the Republic of Korea. Tensions between the two resulted in the outbreak of the Korean War in 1950. With involvement by foreign troops, the war ended in a stalemate in 1953, but without a formalized peace treaty. This status contributes to the high tensions that continue to divide the peninsula. Both governments of the two Koreas claim to be the sole legitimate government of the region. Etymology Korea is the modern spelling of Korea, a name attested in English as early as 1614. Korea was transliterated as Kali in the travels of Marco Polo, based on the kingdom of Goryeo Hongul, Golio Hanja, Gao Li Mr. Koryo, which ruled most of the Korean peninsula during Marco Polo's time. Korea's introduction to the West resulted from trade and contact with merchants from Arabic lands, with some records dating back as far as the 9th century. Goryeo's name was a continuation of Goguryeo the northernmost of the three kingdoms of Korea, which was officially known as Goryeo beginning in the 5th century. The original name was a combination of the adjective Go, high, lofty, with the name of a local Yemek tribe, whose original name is thought to have been either asterisk Guru, Go, walled city, inferred from some toponyms in Chinese historical documents, or asterisk Gori, Ga, center. With expanding British and American trade following the opening of Korea in the late 19th century, the spelling, Korea, appeared and gradually grew in popularity. Its use in transcribing East Asian languages avoids the issues caused by the separate hard and soft seas existing in English vocabulary derived from the Romance languages. The name Korea is now commonly used in English contexts by both North and South Korea. In South Korea, Korea as a whole is referred to as Hongak, Hangug Hanuk, lit. Country of the Han. The name references Samhan, referring to the three kingdoms of Korea, not the ancient confederacies in the southern Korean peninsula. 
Although written in Hanja as Han, Gan or Khan, this Han has no relation to the Chinese place names or peoples who used those characters but was a phonetic transcription OC, asterisk gar, MC Han or Gan of a native Korean word that seems to have had the meaning big or great, particularly in reference to leaders. It has been tentatively linked with the title Khan used by the nomads of Manchuria and Central Asia. In North Korea, China, Vietnam and Japan, Korea as a whole is referred to as, Joseon Joseon, Toz En, Chao Xian Ju Sin, Chao Shen, Chao Xian Chosen, True Tian, Chao Xian Lit, Land of the Morning Calm. Great Joseon was the name of the kingdom ruled by the Joseon dynasty from 1393 until their declaration of the short-lived Great Korean Empire in 1897. King Taeo had named them for the earlier Kojoseon, Gojoseon who ruled northern Korea from its legendary prehistory until their conquest in 108 BC by China's Han Empire. This Go is the Hanja Gu and simply means ancient or old. It is a modern usage to distinguish the ancient Joseon from the later dynasty. Joseon itself is the modern Korean pronunciation of the Hanja Chao Xian, but it is unclear whether this was a transcription of a native Korean name OC TR Ozer, MC Tresjin, or a partial translation into Chinese of the Korean capital Asadol, Asadol whose meaning has been reconstructed as morning land or mountain. Topic: History Topic. Prehistory and Gojoseon The Korean Academy claimed ancient hominid fossils originating from about 100,000 BC in the lava at a stone city site in Korea. Fluorescent and high magnetic analyses indicate the volcanic fossils may be from as early as 300,000 BC. The best preserved Korean pottery goes back to the Paleolithic times around 10,000 BC and the Neolithic period begins around 6,000 BC. According to legend, Dangan, a descendant of heaven, established Gojoseon in 2333 BC. In 108 BC, the Han dynasty defeated Gojoseon and installed four commanderies in the northern Korean peninsula. Three of the commanderies fell or retreated westward within a few decades, but the Lelang commandery remained as a center of cultural and economic exchange with successive Chinese dynasties for four centuries. By 313, Goguryeo annexed all of the Chinese commanderies. <laughs> Proto Three Kingdoms The Proto Three Kingdoms period, sometimes called the Multiple States period, is the earlier part of what is commonly called the Three Kingdoms period, following the fall of Gojoseon but before Goguryeo, Baekje, and Silla fully developed into kingdoms. This time period saw numerous states spring up from the former territories of Gojoseon, which encompassed northern Korea and southern Manchuria. With the fall of Gojoseon, southern Korea entered the Samhan period. Located in the southern part of the Korean peninsula, Samhan refers to the three confederacies of Mayan, Jinhan, and Baiwunhan. Mayan was the largest and consisted of 54 states. Baiwunhan and Jinhan both consisted of 12 states, bringing a total of 78 states within the Samhan. These three confederacies eventually developed into Baekje, Silla, and Gaia. Three kingdoms. The three kingdoms of Korea consisted of Goguryeo, Silla, and Baekje. Silla and Baekje controlled the southern half of the Korean peninsula, maintaining the former Samhan territories, while Goguryeo controlled the northern half of the Korean peninsula, Manchuria and the Liaodong Peninsula, uniting Buyo, Okjo, Dongyi, and other states in the former Gojoseon territories. Goguryeo was a highly militaristic state, it was a powerful empire and one of the great powers in East Asia, reaching its zenith in the 5th century when its territories expanded to encompass most of Manchuria to the north, parts of Inner Mongolia to the west parts of Russia to the east, and the Seoul region to the south. Goguryeo experienced a golden age under Gwangato the Great and his son Jiangsu, who both subdued Baekje and Silla during their times, achieving a brief unification of the three kingdoms of Korea and becoming the most dominant power on the Korean peninsula. 
In addition to contesting for control of the Korean peninsula, Goguryeo had many military conflicts with various Chinese dynasties, most notably the Goguryeo Sui War, in which Goguryeo defeated a huge force said to number over a million men. In 642, the powerful general Yian Gaesaman led a coup and gained complete control over Goguryeo. In response, Emperor Tang Taizong of China led a campaign against Goguryeo, but was defeated and retreated. After the death of Tang Taizong, his son Emperor Tang Gaozong allied with the Korean Kingdom of Silla and invaded Goguryeo again, but was unable to overcome Goguryeo's stalwart defenses and was defeated in 662. However, Yian Gaesaman died of a natural cause in 666 and Goguryeo was thrown into chaos and weakened by a succession struggle among his sons and younger brother, with his eldest son defecting to Tang and his younger brother defecting to Silla. The Tang Silla alliance finally conquered Goguryeo in 668. After the collapse of Goguryeo, Tang and Silla ended their alliance and fought over control of the Korean peninsula. Silla succeeded in gaining control over most of the Korean peninsula, while Tang gained control over Goguryeo's northern territories. However, 30 years after the fall of Goguryeo, a Goguryeo general by the name of Dae Joyoung founded the Korean Mohe state of Balhae and successfully expelled the Tang presence from much of the former Goguryeo territories. The southwestern Korean kingdom of Baekje was founded around modern-day Seoul by a Goguryeo prince, a son of the founder of Goguryeo. Baekje absorbed all of the Mayan states and subjugated most of the western Korean peninsula including the modern provinces of Jeonggi, Chungcheong, and Jeolla, as well as parts of Wangha and Gangwon to a centralized government. During the expansion of its territory, Baekje acquired Chinese culture and technology through maritime contacts with the southern dynasties. Baekje was a great maritime power, its nautical skill, which made it the Phoenicia of East Asia, was instrumental in the dissemination of Buddhism throughout East Asia and continental culture to Japan. Historic evidence suggests that Japanese culture, art, and language were influenced by the Kingdom of Baekje and Korea itself. Baekje also played an important role in transmitting advanced Chinese culture to the Japanese archipelago. Baekje was once a great military power on the Korean peninsula, most notably in the 4th century during the rule of Junshogo when its influence extended across the sea to Liaoshi and Shandong in China, taking advantage of the weakened state of former Qin, and Kyushu in the Japanese archipelago. However, Baekje was critically defeated by Gwangado the Great and declined. Although later records claim that Silla was the oldest of the three kingdoms of Korea, it is now believed to have been the last kingdom to develop. By the 2nd century, Silla existed as a large state in the southeast, occupying and influencing its neighboring city-states. In 562, Silla annexed the Gaia Confederacy which was located between Baekje and Silla. The three kingdoms of Korea often warred with each other and Silla was often dominated by Baekje and Goguryeo. Silla was the smallest and weakest of the three, but it used cunning diplomatic means to make opportunistic pacts and alliances with the more powerful Korean kingdoms, and eventually Tang China, to its great advantage. In 660, King Muyol ordered his armies to attack Baekje. General Kim Yu Shin, aided by Tang forces, conquered Baekje after defeating General Gaibek at the Battle of Wangsanbol. In 661, Silla and Tang attacked Goguryeo but were repelled. King Munmu, son of Muyol and nephew of General Kim Yu Shin, launched another campaign in 667 and Goguryeo fell in the following year. <laughs> North-South States period Beginning in the 6th century, Silla's power gradually extended across the Korean peninsula. Silla first annexed the adjacent Gaia Confederacy in 562. By the 640s, Silla formed an alliance with the Tang dynasty of China to conquer Baekje and later Goguryeo. After conquering Baekje and Goguryeo, Silla repulsed Tang China from the Korean peninsula in 676. Even though Silla unified most of the Korean peninsula, most of the Goguryeo territories to the north of the Korean peninsula were ruled by Balhae. Former Goguryeo general or chief of Sumo Mohe Dae Jo Young led a group of Goguryeo and Mohe refugees to the Jilin and founded the Kingdom of Balhae, 30 years after the collapse of Goguryeo, as the successor to Goguryeo. At its height, Balhae's territories extended from southern Manchuria down to the northern Korean peninsula. Balhae was called the prosperous country in the east. 
Later Silla carried on the maritime prowess of Bekya, which acted like the Phoenicia of medieval East Asia, and during the 8th and 9th centuries dominated the seas of East Asia and the trade between China, Korea and Japan, most notably during the time of Jiang Bogo. In addition, Silla people made overseas communities in China on the Shandong Peninsula and the mouth of the Yangtze River. Later Silla was a prosperous and wealthy country, and its metropolitan capital of Zhangzhou was the fourth largest city in the world. Later Silla was a golden age of art and culture, as evidenced by the Wangnyangsa, Sukgoram, and Emil Bell. Buddhism flourished during this time, and many Korean Buddhists gained great fame among Chinese Buddhists and contributed to Chinese Buddhism, including, Wanchuk, Wunhyo, Yuising, Musong, and Kim Gyo Gak, a Silla prince whose influence made Mount Juha one of the four sacred mountains of Chinese Buddhism. Later Silla fell apart in the late 9th century, giving way to the tumultuous later Three Kingdoms period 892 and Balhae was destroyed by the Khitans in 926. Goryeo unified the later three kingdoms and received the last crown prince and much of the ruling class of Balhae, thus bringing about a unification of the two successor nations of Goguryeo. <laughs> Goryeo dynasty Goryeo was founded in 918 and replaced Silla as the ruling dynasty of Korea. Goryeo's land was at first what is now South Korea and about one-third of North Korea, but later on managed to recover most of the Korean peninsula. Momentarily, Goryeo advanced to parts of Jondao while conquering the Yurchins, but returned the territories due to the harsh climate and difficulties in defending them. The name, Goryeo, Gao Li is a short form of Goguryeo, Gao Ju Li and was first used during the time of King Jongsu. Goryeo regarded itself as the successor of Goguryeo, hence its name and efforts to recover the former territories of Goguryeo. Wang Jian, the founder of Goryeo, was of Goguryeo descent and traced his ancestry to a noble Goguryeo clan. He made Kaesong, his hometown, the capital. During this period, laws were codified and a civil service system was introduced. Buddhism flourished and spread throughout the peninsula. The development of Celadon industries flourished in the 12th and 13th centuries. The publication of the Tripitaka Koreana onto more than 80,000 wooden blocks and the invention of the world's first metal movable type in the 13th century attest to Goryeo's cultural achievements. Goryeo had to defend frequently against attacks by nomadic empires, especially the Khitans and the Mongols. Goryeo had a hostile relationship with the Khitans, because the Khitan Empire had destroyed Balhae, also a successor state of Goguryeo. In 993, the Khitans, who had established the Liao dynasty in 907, invaded Goryeo, demanding that it make amity with them. Goryeo sent the diplomat Seo Wei to negotiate, who successfully persuaded the Khitans to let Goryeo expand to the banks of the Amnok River, citing that in the past the land belonged to Goguryeo, the predecessor of Goryeo. During the Goryeo Khitan War, the Khitan Empire invaded Korea twice more in 1009 and 1018, but was defeated. After defeating the Khitan Empire, which was the most powerful empire of its time, Goryeo experienced a golden age that lasted a century, during which the Tripitaka Koreana was completed, and there were great developments in printing and publishing, promoting learning and dispersing knowledge on philosophy, literature, religion, and science. By 1100, there were twelve universities that produced famous scholars and scientists. Goryeo was invaded by the Mongols in seven major campaigns from the 1230s until the 1270s, but was never conquered. Exhausted after decades of fighting, Goryeo sent its crown prince to the Yuan capital to swear allegiance to the Mongols, Kublai Khan accepted, and married one of his daughters to the Korean crown prince, and the dynastic line of Goryeo continued to survive under the overlordship of the Mongol Yuan dynasty as a semi-autonomous vassal state and compulsory ally. The two nations became intertwined for 80 years as all subsequent Korean kings married Mongol princesses, and the last empress of the Yuan dynasty was a Korean princess. In the 1350s, King Gongmen was free at last to reform the Goryeo government when the Yuan dynasty began to crumble. Gongmen had various problems that needed to be dealt with, which included the removal of pro Mongol aristocrats and military officials, the question of land holding, and quelling the growing animosity between the Buddhists and Confucian scholars. 
During this tumultuous period, Goryeo momentarily conquered Liaoyang in 1356, repulsed two large invasions by the Red Turbans in 1359 and 1360, and defeated the final attempt by the Yuan to dominate Goryeo when General Cho Young defeated a Mongol Tumen in 1364. During the 1380s, Goryeo turned its attention to the Wakao threat and used naval artillery created by Cho Muzian to annihilate hundreds of pirate ships. Joseon dynasty In 1392, the general Yi Seong Gai overthrew the Goryeo dynasty after he staged a coup and defeated General Cho Young. Yi Seong Gai named his new dynasty Joseon and moved the capital from Kaesong to Hansung formerly Hanyang, modern-day Seoul and built the Jongbokgung Palace. In 1394, he adopted Confucianism as the country's official ideology, resulting in much loss of power and wealth by the Buddhists. The prevailing philosophy of the Joseon dynasty was Neo-Confucianism, which was epitomized by the Sonbi class, scholars who passed up positions of wealth and power to lead lives of study and integrity. Joseon was a nominal tributary state of China but exercised full sovereignty, and maintained the highest position among China's tributary states, which also included countries such as the Ryukyu Kingdom, Vietnam, Burma, Brunei, Laos, Thailand, and the Philippines, among others. In addition, Joseon received tribute from Yurchins and Japanese until the 17th century, and had a small enclave in the Ryukyu Kingdom that engaged in trade with Siam and Java. During the 15th and 16th centuries, Joseon enjoyed many benevolent rulers who promoted education and science. Most notable among them was Sejong the Great, R. 1418-50, who personally created and promulgated Hangul, the Korean alphabet. This golden age saw great cultural and scientific advancements, including in printing, meteorological observation, astronomy, calendar science, ceramics, military technology, geography, cartography, medicine, and agricultural technology, some of which were unrivaled elsewhere. Joseon implemented a class system that consisted of Yangban the noble class, Jungan the middle class, Yangan the common class, and Cheonan the lowest class, which included occupations such as butchers, tanners, shamans, entertainers, and nobi, the equivalent of slaves, bondservants, or serfs. In 1592 and again in 1597, the Japanese invaded Korea. The Korean military at the time was unprepared and untrained, due to two centuries of peace on the Korean peninsula. Toyotomi Hideyoshi intended to conquer China and India through the Korean Peninsula, but was defeated by strong resistance from the Righteous Army, the naval superiority of Admiral Yi Sun Sin and his turtle ships, and assistance from Wanli Emperor of Ming China. However, Joseon experienced great destruction, including a tremendous loss of cultural sites such as temples and palaces to Japanese pillaging, and the Japanese brought back to Japan an estimated 100,000 to 200,000 noses cut from Korean victims. Less than 30 years after the Japanese invasions, the Manchus took advantage of Joseon's war-weakened state and invaded in 1627 and 1637, and then went on to conquer the destabilized Ming dynasty. After normalizing relations with the new Qing dynasty, Joseon experienced a nearly 200-year period of peace. Kings Yangzhou and Zhangzhou led a new renaissance of the Joseon dynasty during the 18th century. In the 19th century, the royal in law families gained control of the government, leading to mass corruption and weakening of the state, with severe poverty and peasant rebellions spreading throughout the country. Furthermore, the Joseon government adopted a strict isolationist policy, earning the nickname, the Hermit Kingdom but ultimately failed to protect itself against imperialism and was forced to open its borders, beginning an era leading into Japanese imperial rule. <laughs> Korean Empire Beginning in 1871, Japan began to exert more influence in Korea, forcing it out of China's traditional sphere of influence. As a result of the Sino-Japanese War 1894 the Qing dynasty had to give up such a position according to Article 1 of the Treaty of Shimonoseki, which was concluded between China and Japan in 1895. That same year, Empress Myeongsung of Korea was assassinated by Japanese agents. In 1897, the Joseon dynasty proclaimed the Korean Empire 1897 King Gojong became an emperor. During this brief period, Korea had some success in modernizing the military, economy, real property laws, education system, and various industries. 
Russia, Japan, France, and the United States all invested in the country and sought to influence it politically. In 1904, the Russo-Japanese War pushed the Russians out of the fight for Korea. In Manchuria on 26 October 1909, an young Jun assassinated the former resident general of Korea, Ito Hirobumi, for his role in trying to force Korea into occupation. Japanese occupation and Japan-Korea annexation In 1910, an already militarily occupied Korea was a forced party to the Japan-Korea annexation treaty. The treaty was signed by Lee Wan Yong, who was given the general power of attorney by the emperor, however, the emperor is said to have not actually ratified the treaty according to Yi Tae Jin. There is a long dispute whether this treaty was legal or illegal due to its signing under duress, threat of force and bribes. Korean resistance to the brutal Japanese occupation was manifested in the nonviolent March 1 movement of 1919, during which 7,000 demonstrators were killed by Japanese police and military. The Korean liberation movement also spread to neighboring Manchuria and Siberia. Over 5 million Koreans were conscripted for labor beginning in 1939, and tens of thousands of men were forced into Japan's military. Nearly 400,000 Korean laborers died. Approximately 200,000 girls and women, mostly from China and Korea, were forced into sexual slavery for the Japanese military. In 1993, Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono acknowledged the terrible injustices faced by these euphemistically named comfort women. During the Japanese annexation, the Korean language was suppressed in an effort to eradicate Korean national identity. Koreans were forced to take Japanese surnames, known as Soshi Kaime. Traditional Korean culture suffered heavy losses, as numerous Korean cultural artifacts were destroyed or taken to Japan. To this day, valuable Korean artifacts can often be found in Japanese museums or among private collections. One investigation by the South Korean government identified 75,311 cultural assets that were taken from Korea, 34,369 in Japan and 17,803 in the United States. However, experts estimate that over 100,000 artifacts actually remain in Japan. Japanese officials considered returning Korean cultural properties, but to date this has not occurred. Korea and Japan still dispute the ownership of the Dokdo, islets located east of the Korean peninsula. There was a significant level of emigration to the overseas territories of the Empire of Japan during the Japanese occupation period, including Korea. By the end of World War II, there were over 850,000 Japanese settlers in Korea. After World War II, most of these overseas Japanese repatriated to Japan. Topic. Division In 1945, with the surrender of Japan, the United Nations developed plans for a trusteeship administration, the Soviet Union administering the peninsula north of the 38th parallel and the United States administering the south. The politics of the Cold War resulted in the 1948 establishment of two separate governments, North Korea and South Korea. The aftermath of World War II left Korea partitioned along the 38th parallel, with the North under Soviet occupation and the South under U.S. occupation supported by other allied states. Consequently, North Korea, a Soviet-style socialist republic was established in the North and South Korea, a Western-style regime, was established in the South. North Korea is a one-party state, now centered on Kim Il-sung's Juche ideology, with a centrally planned industrial economy. South Korea is a multi-party state with a capitalist market economy, alongside membership in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the Group of Twenty. The two states have greatly diverged both culturally and economically since their partition, though they still share a common traditional culture and pre-Cold War history. Since the 1960s, the South Korean economy has grown enormously and the economic structure was radically transformed. In 1957, South Korea had a lower per capita GDP than Ghana, and by 2008 it was 17 times as high as Ghana's, according to R.J. Rummel. Forced labor, executions, and concentration camps were responsible for over 1 million deaths in North Korea from 1948 to 1987. Others have estimated 400,000 deaths in concentration camps alone. 
Estimates based on the most recent North Korean census suggest that 240,000 to 420,000 people died as a result of the 1990s famine and that there were 600,000 to 850,000 unnatural deaths in North Korea from 1993 to 2008. It's misleading, however, to hold that North Korea was the sole or primary perpetrator of human rights abuses. As guerrilla activities expanded everywhere in South Korea, the South Korean government used strong measures against peasants, such as forcefully moving their families from guerrilla areas. The losses incurred from that terror were, 36,000 people killed, 11,000 people wounded, and 432,000 people displaced. Korean War The Korean War broke out when Soviet-backed North Korea invaded South Korea, though neither side gained much territory as a result. The Korean peninsula remained divided, the Korean demilitarized zone being the de facto border between the two states. In June 1950 North Korea invaded the South, using Soviet tanks and weaponry. During the Korean War 1950 more than 1.2 million people died and the three years of fighting throughout the nation effectively destroyed most cities. The war ended in an armistice agreement at approximately the military demarcation line, but the two governments are officially at war. In 2018, the leaders of North Korea and South Korea officially signed the Panmunjom Declaration, announcing that they will work to end the conflict. Demographics The combined population of the Koreas is about 76 million North Korea, 25 million, South Korea, 51 million. Korea is chiefly populated by a highly homogeneous ethnic group, the Koreans, who speak the Korean language. The number of foreigners living in Korea has also steadily increased since the late 20th century, particularly in South Korea, where more than one million foreigners reside. It was estimated in 2006 that only 26,700 of the old Chinese community now remain in South Korea. However, in recent years, immigration from mainland China has increased. 624,994 persons of Chinese nationality have immigrated to South Korea, including 443,566 of ethnic Korean descent. Small communities of ethnic Chinese and Japanese are also found in North Korea. Language Korean is the official language of both North and South Korea, and along with Mandarin of Yanbian Korean Autonomous Prefecture in the Manchuria area of China. Worldwide, there are up to 80 million speakers of the Korean language. South Korea has around 50 million speakers while North Korea around 25 million. Other large groups of Korean speakers through Korean diaspora are found in China, the United States, Japan, former Soviet Union and elsewhere. The classification of Korean is debated. Some linguists place it in the Altaic language family, others consider it to be a language isolate. Korean is agglutinative in its morphology and SOV in its syntax. Like Japanese and Vietnamese, Korean has borrowed much vocabulary from the Chinese or created vocabulary on Chinese models. Modern Korean is written almost exclusively in the script of the Korean alphabet known as Hangul in South Korea and Chosungul in China and North Korea, which was invented in the 15th century. Korean is sometimes written with the addition of some Chinese characters called Hanja, however, this is only occasionally seen nowadays. While Hangul may appear logographic, it is actually a phonemic alphabet organized into syllabic blocks. Each block consists of at least two of the 24 Hangul letters Jamo, at least one each of the 14 consonants and 10 vowels. Historically, the alphabet had several additional letters see obsolete Jamo. For a phonological description of the letters, see Korean phonology. Culture and arts In ancient Chinese texts, Korea is referred to as rivers and mountains embroidered on silk, and eastern nation of decorum, 
Individuals are regarded as one year old when they are born, as Koreans reckon the pregnancy period as one year of life for infants, and age increments increase on New Year's Day rather than on the anniversary of birthdays. Thus, one born immediately before New Year's Day may only be a few days old in Western reckoning, but two years old in Korea. Accordingly, a Korean person's stated age at least among fellow Koreans will be one or two years more than their age according to Western reckoning. However, Western reckoning is sometimes applied with regard to the concept of legal age, for example, the legal age for purchasing alcohol or cigarettes in the Republic of Korea is 19, which is measured according to Western reckoning. Literature Korean literature written before the end of the Joseon dynasty is called classical or traditional literature, written in Chinese characters Hanja, was established at the same time as the Chinese script arrived on the peninsula. Korean scholars were writing poetry in the classical Korean style as early as the 2nd century BC, reflecting Korean thoughts and experiences of that time. Classical Korean literature has its roots in traditional folk beliefs and folk tales of the peninsula, strongly influenced by Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism. Modern literature is often linked with the development of Hangul, which helped spread literacy from the aristocracy to the common people. Hangul, however, only reached a dominant position in Korean literature in the second half of the 19th century, resulting in a major growth in Korean literature. Sinzozal, for instance, are novels written in Hangul. The Korean War led to the development of literature centered on the wounds and chaos of war. Much of the post-war literature in South Korea deals with the daily lives of ordinary people, and their struggles with national pain. The collapse of the traditional Korean value system is another common theme of the time. Music <inaudible> 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 Traditional Korean music includes combinations of the folk, vocal, religious and ritual music styles of the Korean people. Korean music has been practiced since prehistoric times. Korean music falls into two broad categories. The first, Hyongak, literally means the local music or music native to Korea, a famous example of which is Sujechan, a piece of instrumental music often claimed to be at least 1,300 years old. The second, Yongak, represents a more Western style. Religion Confucian tradition has dominated Korean thought, along with contributions by Buddhism, Taoism, and Korean shamanism. Since the middle of the 20th century, however, Christianity has competed with Buddhism in South Korea, while religious practice has been suppressed in North Korea. Throughout Korean history and culture, regardless of separation, the influence of traditional beliefs of Korean shamanism, Mahayana Buddhism, Confucianism and Taoism have remained an underlying religion of the Korean people as well as a vital aspect of their culture. All these traditions have coexisted peacefully for hundreds of years up to today despite strong westernization from Christian missionary conversions in the south or the pressure from the Juche government in the north. According to 2005 statistics compiled by the South Korean government, about 40 6% of citizens profess to follow no particular religion. Christians account for 29.2% of the population of which are Protestants 18.3% and Catholics 10.9% and Buddhists 22.8%. Islam in South Korea is practiced by about 45,000 natives, about 0.09% of the population in addition to some 100,000 foreign workers from Muslim countries. Cuisine Koreans traditionally believe that the taste and quality of food depend on its spices and sauces, the essential ingredients to making a delicious meal. Therefore, soybean paste, soy sauce, gochujang or red pepper paste and kimchi are some of the most important staples in a Korean household. Korean cuisine was greatly influenced by the geography and climate of the Korean peninsula, which is known for its cold autumns and winters, therefore there are many fermented dishes and hot soups and stews. Korean cuisine is probably best known for kimchi, a side dish which uses a distinctive fermentation process of preserving vegetables, most commonly cabbage. Kimchi is said to relieve the pores on the skin, thereby reducing wrinkles and providing nutrients to the skin naturally. 
It is also healthy, as it provides necessary vitamins and nutrients. Gochujang, a traditional Korean sauce made of red pepper is also commonly used, often as pepper chili paste, earning the cuisine a reputation for spiciness. Bulgogi roasted marinated meat, usually beef, galbi marinated grilled short ribs, and samgopsal pork belly are popular meat entrees. Fish is also a popular commodity, as it is the traditional meat that Koreans eat. Meals are usually accompanied by a soup or stew, such as galbitong stewed ribs or dinjong jjigae fermented bean paste soup. The center of the table is filled with a shared collection of side dishes called banchan. Other popular dishes include bibimbap which literally means mixed rice, rice mixed with meat, vegetables, and red pepper paste and nangmyeon cold noodles. Instant noodles or ramyeon are a popular snack food and Koreans also enjoy food from pojangmishas street vendors, where customers can buy tukboki rice cake and fish cake with a spicy gochujang sauce, kimbap made of steamed white rice wrapped in dried lava seaweed as well as fried squid and glazed sweet potato. Sundae, a sausage made of cellophane noodles and pork blood, is widely eaten. Additionally, some other common snacks include choco pie, shrimp crackers, bibongtwigi, puffed rice grains, and nurungji, slightly burnt rice. Nurungji can be eaten as it is or boiled with water to make a soup. Nurungji can also be eaten as a snack or a dessert. Korea is unique among Asian countries in its use of metal chopsticks. Metal chopsticks have been discovered in archaeological sites belonging to the ancient Korean kingdoms of Goguryeo, Baekje and Silla. Education The modern South Korean school system consists of six years in elementary school, three years in middle school, and three years in high school. Students are required to go to elementary and middle school, and do not have to pay for their education, except for a small fee called a school operation support fee that differs from school to school. The Program for International Student Assessment, coordinated by the OECD, ranks South Korea's science education as the third best in the world and being significantly higher than the OECD average. South Korea ranks second on math and literature and first in problem solving. Although South Korean students often rank high on international comparative assessments, the education system is criticized for emphasizing too much upon passive learning and memorization. The South Korean education system is rather notably strict and structured as compared to its counterparts in most Western societies. Also, the prevalence of non-school-for-profit private institutes such as academies or cram schools Hagwon, Hagwon which too emphasize passive memorization, as opposed to conceptual understanding, in students are criticized as a major social problem. After students enter university, however, the situation is markedly reversed. In Korea, university is hard to enter, and graduation is comparatively easier than entry. The North Korean education system consists primarily of universal and state-funded schooling by the government. The national literacy rate for citizens 15 years of age and above is over 99%. Children go through one year of kindergarten, four years of primary education, six years of secondary education, and then on to universities. The most prestigious university in the DPRK is Kim Il-sung University. Other notable universities include Kim Chek University of Technology, which focuses on computer science, Pyongyang University of Foreign Studies, which trains working-level diplomats and trade officials, and Kim Hyung Jik University, which trains teachers. Outside the formal structure of schools and classrooms in the North is the extremely important social education. This education includes not only extracurricular activities but also family life and the broadest range of human relationships within society. There is great sensitivity to the influence of the social environment on the growing child and its role in the development of his or her character. The ideal of social education is to provide a carefully controlled environment in which children are exposed only to pro juche and anti-South influences. According to a North Korean official interviewed in 1990, school education is not enough to turn the rising generation into men of knowledge, virtue, and physical fitness. After school, our children have many spare hours. So it's important to efficiently organize their after-school education. <laughs> Science and technology 
One of the best known artifacts of Korea's history of science and technology is the Chiamzongde, Chiamzongde Zan Xing Tai, a 9.4 meter high observatory built in 634. The earliest known surviving Korean example of woodblock printing is the Mugujongwang Great Durrani Sutra. It is believed to have been printed in Korea in 750 to 51, which, if correct, would make it older than the Diamond Sutra. During the Goryeo dynasty, metal movable type printing was invented by Cho Yun Ui in 1234. This invention made printing easier, more efficient and also increased literacy, which observed by Chinese visitors was seen to be so important where it was considered to be shameful to not be able to read. The Mongol Empire later adopted Korea's movable type printing and spread as far as Central Asia. There is conjecture as to whether or not Cho's invention had any influence on later printing inventions such as Gutenberg's printing press. When the Mongols invaded Europe, they inadvertently introduced different kinds of Asian technology. During the Joseon period, the turtle ship was invented, which were covered by a wooden deck and iron with thorns, as well as other weapons such as the Bigyogjinchilo cannon, Bigyogjinchonlo Fei Ji Gentian Lei, and the Hawacha. The Korean alphabet Hangul was also invented during this time by King Sejong the Great. Sport North Korea and South Korea usually compete as two separate nations in international events. There are, however, a few examples of them having competed as one entity, under the name Korea. While association football remains one of the most popular sports in South Korea, the martial art of Taekwondo is considered to be the national sport. Baseball and golf are also popular. Taekwondo Taekwondo is one of Korea's most famous sports. It combines combat techniques, self-defense, sport, exercise and in some cases meditation and philosophy. Taekwondo has become an official Olympic sport, starting as a demonstration event in 1988 when South Korea hosted the Games in Seoul and becoming an official medal event in 2000. There are two main authoritative Taekwondo organizations in the world. One is World Taekwondo, formerly World Taekwondo Federation and the larger of the two, and the other is ITF, International Taekwondo Federation. Topic: <laughs> Hapkido. Hapkido is a modern Korean martial art with a grappling focus that employs joint locks, throws, kicks, punches and other striking attacks like attacks against pressure points. Hapkido emphasizes circular motion, non-resisting movements and control of the opponent. Practitioners seek to gain advantage through footwork and body positioning to employ leverage, avoiding the pure use of strength against strength. Sirium Sirium is a traditional form of wrestling that has been practiced in Korea for thousands of years, with evidence discovered from Goguryeo of Korea's Three Kingdoms period 57 BC to 688. Sirium is the traditional national sport of Korea. During a match, opponents grip each other by sash belts wrapped around the waist and the thigh, attempting to throw their competitor to the sandy ground of the ring. The first opponent to touch the ground with any body part above the knee or to lose hold of their opponent loses the round. Sirium competitions are traditionally held twice a year, during the Dano festival the fifth day of the fifth lunar month and Chuseok the fifteenth day of the eighth lunar month. Competitions are also held throughout the year as a part of festivals and other events. <laughs> Comparison of the two countries of Korea Topic: Notable public holidays in South Korea. Topic: Independence Movement Day, March 1st. Samiljol, Independence Movement Day, commemorates Korea's declaration of independence from Japanese occupation on March 1, 1919. The name is derived from Korean Sam. Sam. 3, il, 1, and jol, j -e -o -l, day, the date of the uprising in 1919. 
Korea was annexed to the Empire of Japan on August 29, 1910 following the imposed Japan-Korea Treaty. On March 1, 1919, Koreans presented their resistance towards Japan and Japanese occupation with a declaration of independence. Following the conclusion of World War II, Korea was liberated from Japan and its independence restored. The newly established Korean government set aside March 1 as a national holiday to commemorate the sacrifices borne in the long struggle for Korean independence. Memorial Day, June 6 Hyuncheonggil is the national holiday in Korea commemorating those who fought and died for the nation. In August 1948, only a few years after Korea achieved its independence from Japan, the Korean War, in Korea also known as the 6.25 War, broke out between North and South Korea. During this war, approximately 400,000 soldiers and some 1 million citizens were killed or injured. In 1953, North and South Korea agreed to a ceasefire, and three years later the Korean government established Hyeongchugul to commemorate the soldiers who fought in the Korean War. Subsequent to its establishment, Hyeongchugul was reinterpreted as a day of remembrance for those who died defending Korea in all conflicts, not only during the Korean War. <laughs> National Liberation Day, August 15 Gwangbochol is the day for celebrating liberation of the country from Japan in 1945 as well as celebrating the establishment of Korean government in 1948. Gwangbok means, returned light, representing gaining national sovereignty from Japan. It was first declared to be national holiday in 1949 October 1. On this date every year, the President of Korea visits Independence Hall, and invites diplomatic envoys from many countries and all social standings in countries to Chungwade, the Blue House, the Korean presidential residence. Hangul Day, October 9 Hangul Day, also spelled as Hangul Day is a day that celebrates the creation of the Hunminjongyeom Hangul, Korean alphabet, which was inscribed to the UNESCO Memory of the World Register in 1997. Hangul was created by Sejong the Great in 1443 and proclaimed in 1446. Before the creation of Hangul, people in Korea known as Joseon at the time primarily wrote using classical Chinese alongside native phonetic writing systems that predate Hangul by hundreds of years, including Idu, Hyeongchol, Gugyeol, and Gakpul. However, due to the fundamental differences between the Korean and Chinese languages, and the large number of characters needed to be learned, there was much difficulty in learning how to write using Chinese characters for the lower classes, who often didn't have the privilege of education. To assuage this problem, King Sejong created the unique alphabet known as Hangul to promote literacy among the common people. Hangul Day was founded in 1926 during the Japanese occupation by members of the Korean Language Society, whose goal was to preserve the Korean language during a time of rapid forced Japanization. Today, both South Korea and North Korea celebrate Hangul Day as a national holiday. See also Index of Korea-related articles Anti-Japanese sentiment in Korea Inter-Korean summit Korean name List of people of Korean descent National treasures of North Korea National treasures of South Korea Korean natural farming Korean cuisine List of Korean inventions and discoveries Korean War equals equals notes